Hey guys. All right, let me kill this fan. Okay. The Eternal Sea. Okay. So you all know how I got there from the last video. So, the Eternal Sea. I was in there getting this uh, crap energy out of me. And uh, I started asking Chris, what the hell is this? You know, tell me. I never heard about it until the skull, short-faced bear skull, I got. And he goes, he goes, basically, it's the womb of Mother Earth. And I guess... Uh, let's say he goes all souls are born from it don't I don't know particulars he goes all souls are born from it within it whatever um, not within it but between let's say me and my wife she had two kids out of love and what happened was these two kids popped up on her chest here like little bumps okay and these bumps grew and grew and grew, and all of a sudden, yeah, 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 drive me nuts all day, okay? So, but they're born from this ocean on the earth. Now, this ocean, I, I, Christ calls it the eternal ocean, the eternal sea. And I guess it's a layer that flows throughout the universe. No matter where you are in it, it is there. All souls are from the eternal sea. That's what he said. I'm just telling you what he said. Okay. This is in spirit world, I guess. So he sent me there to get cleaned up. Um, he goes, you, you go in. He, well, he goes, no. When I go into the eternal sea, I just chant. I didn't even chant, but for you guys, I expect you to chant. chant. I go in there, I'm floating, and it's... To me, I see, this is what I see when I'm in it, green, and the water's flowing by, there's a, there's a little bit of current to it. Pray said, the current changes with the seasons. Now, not the seasons on the earth, but there are seasons of the sea. He goes, sometimes it'll be more current, less current, uh, more wavy. If you're, if you're on top, it waves, it, it fluctuates. He says there's different seasons for this. And I'm like, wow. Didn't know that. He then went on to say, when you go in there, it, basically, he goes, you go in to clean your body, mind, and soul. So, I've been there, and it cleans your body, mind, and soul. It basically kills. Now, if you got a demon attachment, all the attachments that are on you, from demons, connections to loved ones, connections to your girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, and you still love her and you don't know why, and you want to get rid of it, go into the sea. It breaks the connection. It cleanses the connections. All demon connections, spirit connections, parasites you picked up, washes them all the way and kills them. Unbelievable, I know, right? Unbelievable. Remember that. Then it also rejuvenates. So if you got torn a thorough skins or you're hurt or you've been busted up in a fight in the spirit world in the illusion, you go there to get healed up. It rejuvenates you. It rejuvenates your energy, all that stuff. Okay? It rejuvenates you, it heals you. Okay? That's what he told me. He said, and you go in there, you gotta stay at least 12 minutes. He goes, that was the deal. He goes, 12 minutes. You gotta stay in there 12 minutes. Or it ain't gonna do nothing. That's another one. Um, he said, it's every human's home. Every human. Human's home. He said, now if you want to know about it, <clears throat> I don't know if it's true or not. I never read the Bible. Never read the Bible. So, don't quote me on this. He goes, he goes, he goes, it's our home. Look it up in the Christian Bible. Home will make you corrected over time. So, <coughs> look it up in the Christian Bible. He didn't give me numbers and names and passages and all that. 
He says it's in the Christian Bible. And it will make you correct. Now what he meant by that was, let's say you're off course. Your, your, your spirit is messed up. Your head's messed up. Your spirit is, uh, your soul is losing it for whatever reason. You go into the, and over time it'll get corrected. You'll go right back to your birth of when your soul was born. That state, that purity, that innocence. Okay? That's what it does in this ocean. And he said it's also good to have Christ consciousness with you. Christ consciousness is another energy. You chant it. Christ conscious, Christ conscious. Lay down, meditate, chant Christ consciousness. And the more you cross over, the more the Christ consciousness will come in. And you chant it, Christ consciousness will come into you. And he goes, then, more or less, if you're in Christ consciousness, then you can chant this. And he says, now he gave me a couple different ones. And I'll, I'll clarify as I get better information of what to chant. But he said, love the eternal sea. Chant, love the eternal sea. And he said, the energy, he said, your, your spirit, your soul will all, already know what its birth feels like. So it's like you're in a womb. And I'm telling you, it is. It's a, you're in a womb, man. And it's like your mother's womb. And you're floating in the, the, the fluid there, right? When you're a baby. Well, it's the same thing for a soul. Your soul came from that. You'll, you'll automatically know to get back to it. And he said, lay down, meditate. Uh, cross over into the illusion and chant out loud and in yourself love the eternal sea just say that over and love the eternal sea and your soul automatically goes into the eternal sea now when you feel it bring it in all your so chakras now when I go down there my innocence my innocence goes drink this so he gives me a great big jug and I drink all the water and I fill myself up. Plus it's coming in my chakras. You don't got to do that. I do it. I do it like that. My, well, my innocence told me, go drink this. So basically he's getting my, e bringing my ego in with my soul to drink it. I don't think I really need it, but I drink. I just, what he does is he goes, drink this. He just fills it up because I'm in the eternal sea. There's no bottom to it. There's no bottom. It gets a little denser the more down you go. And he goes, there's nothing that lives in it. But everything needs it. So he goes, just he just reaches out this jug of this pitcher, fills it up like, you know, a beer pitcher, and you drink it in your mind. And as it fills up, you become four. And then imagine, then what I see spiritually when I'm in there is, like green water, it's like a like a greenish water, and little tiny bubbles, and they're going, and they're going through my skins, and they're washing, they're washing out of it. You can actually feel it. You can you can feel it, man. I can anyway. And uh, man, does it get quiet? Bring it up into your head, bring it up into your head, throw your skins, feel it go right into your eyes and your brain and in your bones, and washing all that shit out. Everything, man. He says, he goes, you can sleep in there all night if you want. He goes, but you got to stay in there for at least 12 minutes for it to do anything. And you have any demon attachments, any physical love attachments that are ripping your relationship apart and making you crazy, get in that water. And, it'll... and he goes, if your soul is a little crazy, if you're losing it, if you're off track, if you're off track, you go in there, do this, and he goes, it'll straighten you up back to back to your original innocence, back to your original soul. And that blew me away, man. So there you go, guys. The eternal sea, the eternal ocean. Now my kids call it, my kids call it the never-ending ocean. You gotta go to the never ending ocean, they tell me. Cool. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> my, my one girl, Christ, Christ's daughter, she comes up to me. She goes, 
Christ told me to take you to the never ending ocean. And then she, she's like 12 years old. And then she grabs my ear and she goes, you come with me. And she's pulling me. She's pulling me and she goes, you gotta go to the never ending ocean. Now I'm getting there. Don't you give me no problems. <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, commander. <laughs> she's like ordering me around like a cop, like a mother. <laughs> she's 12 years old or something. And it's crazy about her. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know you were in a past life, eh? Anyway, she takes me down in there. I'm like, oh, wow, this is beautiful. And can I get the voices in my head, right? And what it is is I lost my skins, my ethereal skins, ethereal skins in my body. A spirit went into my inner light, right? Boom, but lost all my skins. So my brain was exposed to the spirit world. When that happens, I started talking to all the spirits. No one told me I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> and now I got, I had a million attachments. That was eight years ago. Watch my videos on my YouTube. Explains everything. And I healed up over eight years, but I can still hear them because I'm still in St. Lucian. Whole psychological bullshit that I can't get out of. I'm in this catch-22 between my innocence and my wife. And so I'm always floating between the illusion and Saint Illusion, where my family is. And oh, race. Anyway, I'm there. I'm doing all right. You know, I'm doing all right. Other than getting in a fight and ripping my skins. And other than that, I'm not uh, post crazy. This is just spirit world stuff. I'm on no drugs, no pharmaceuticals. Never been to a. F I haven't been to a doctor since I was 16. I smoke a pack a day. Fine. All right. I've, I've never been to a hospital, never been to a doctor since I was 16. This happened eight years ago. I'm 51 now. So I'm just telling you what happens in the spirit world. These are my experiences. I'm not saying it's gospel to you or anybody else. I know new people are going to be watching this, so that's why I'm saying it. It's just. Hey, this is my experiences, so I'm putting them out there for you guys. And that's it. <laughs> All right. So if you want more details, and I'll try to get more details on this uh, ocean as soon as I get them. And for sure, because it's huge. And it is nice. It's like floating on a cloud. You know how that... You always float on a cloud to go to sleep, and that feeling you get, you know, in your head. But this is what it's really like, man. You go, you're, you're just floating in the water underneath the ocean, just. And you see stuff going by, and you just fall asleep. It's so fucking nice. You don't gotta worry about demons or fucking attachments and stuff like that. People come up and go, no. But like my wife, she comes up and checks on me all the time. I'm just like, <laughs> sleep at night. <laughs> so that's what it's like, guys. Get in there, get in there. It'll clean you up, heal you up, cleanse you. Get rid of all attachments. Take you back to the original. And uh, rejuvenate you. Good stuff. Later, guys.